Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Eric. So the question is that should you learn the new Apple programming language which is called Swift or Swift? How the hell you wanna pronounce? You can pronounce. Basically, it's called Swift. I mean, what a weird name to be honest with you. They can choose much better name, but I mean, it's much better than the Objective C. I mean, what? do you mean by objective c i mean it really do not make sense basically only that c makes sense due to the c programming language which it have most of the syntax inherit from but objective c it's a objective language choose a better name like c plus plus c sharp i mean php ruby python go for 10 i mean the bazillion programming language every day come out but should you really care about swift i will say the question do not lie in this the question lie in this show how long will apple last microsoft can even last for next one century with no problem with the c plus plus java programming can last php can last due to web what about swift programming language the only one thing you have to answer by it yourself do you think that apple will be the same apple after five years do you think that to be honest with you, the Apple iPhone will be dead after five years? That is my personal opinion. That Apple iPhone is just going, I mean, down the road to sink. Basically, there it will be no Apple. Only that thing that you can get iPad. I think within two years, I think maybe a Microsoft Surface or any Android tablet can beat iPad. Currently, iPad is still the winner, but iPhone is already beaten by Samsung Galaxy, Microsoft Windows phones. I mean iphone already is that to be honest with then no reason to even to consider to uh, buying an iphone so now it's only depend on apple uh, ipad my main apple tablet and then apple mac os operating system so if you know so you can not only create the apps for iphone you can create for the ipad and then for the tablet and uh, for the mac os desktop apps to be honest with you my personal fact is that mac os will be stay for next 10 years so to the answer is that yes you should learn Swift programming language only to program app for the Mac OS and then the tablet iPad your main consideration should be only for the Mac OS I mean by building apps for a desktop is not very easy you can build apps for an iPhone using the same programming language to build the apps for the desktop is not easy it again depend my personal back is that if you are learning to program for iPhone I will say I mean build native app. The future is in, in the native. Uh, I'm sorry. The few uh, try to build a hybrid app. The future is in the hybrid app building using HTML, CSS3, and JavaScript. Even, 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 even Microsoft is now trying to basically encourage the programmer to. Microsoft is already encouraging people to build the window app store apps using, using HTML, CSS3 and then a JavaScript. To be honest with you, now there are only two app options to build the Microsoft Windows 8.1 apps which will be the same store in Windows 10. People are thinking that Microsoft is dropping the Windows 8.1 store from the Windows 10. No, you can download the native apps which are programmed in C++ plus from any website plus you can download the app from window store i mean yes there was no window store in windows 7 but with window 8 and 8 for 1 now you can download the app so currently microsoft option or microsoft offer you two options to build window 8.1 apps i mean window app store you can use c sharp programming language or you can use the HTML, CSS3, and JavaScript. I will include the link Microsoft Certified Solution Developer Window Apps. I mean, they basically even there is an exam you can pass three exams to become a Microsoft Certified Solution Developer MCS. They so to keep this thing in context, even in Windows 10, to be honest with you, I'm now preparing for my MC. Um, MCST exam using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build apps. I mean, that is the future. Why? That is the future. You, if you know HTML, CSS, we are Ninja added plus JavaScript, you can build really complex application. You can run, uh, you can basically publish your app in the Windows App Store. Plus, you can run on a native, I mean, same, I mean, just a little bit here and there, I mean, tweaking your code. I mean, you can simply run natively on a web browser, same engine. I mean, why, why should I even consider to um, download an app installed on my 
iPhone I mean rather than if I can just go to the website and anywhere in the world a lot of I mean the to be honest with you the developing market I mean there's so little storage inside even some countries I mean the people can't even afford a memory card I mean so they the best thing is that they can just connect to the Wi-Fi to the internet just go to the any website and then I mean and uh, use it like a native hybrid app my personal opinion is that to be honest with you we are asking this question you even didn't consider building a hyper app my personal opinion is that leaves with programming language nobody will care with programming language i mean it, to be honest with you why the hell you wanna just lock in yourself in one thing which you cannot develop i mean if you know html 5 css 3 javascript you can build games for the web browser you can publish your game in the microsoft app store i mean i don't know when apple will try to let you publish the games using html css and javascript but that is still the future flash is already that html5 had already replaced the flash i mean i will say stay away from swift to be honest with you if you really i mean can't live without building the apps for the iphone if you are getting some kind of good offer then i will say learn swift programming language only to program apps for the iphone i will never use swift to build a native app for the mac os it's really complicated you have to be ninja as swift currently there are no good documentation on it there are no good books written on it there are no good online lectures on it i mean swift is really very new at least it will take three to five years to have some good documentation and then good lectures on it good uh, written books on it then i can say that i mean you can learn by your own currently i mean it's so new i mean it's only a newbie born language we really don't know how i mean how it will work i mean yeah you can just uh, remember all the function but it's a very new programming language apple is trying to say if you learn it now within five years you will be the first batch of swift programming language which have the five year swift programming experience you will be gold i do not consider that to be honest with you i do not consider the hybrid app is the future to be honest with you learn html css3 javascript build hybrid app i mean uh, most of the people still don't know you can use a javascript framework jquery to build really hybrid app that works natively on iphone you just have to go to the website and then you can just i mean add to the screen uh, icon then it will work really like a native plus you don't have to install the apps to be honest with you my personal bet is i learn hybrid app development learn html learn css learn javascript some good framework that is the future now we are moving to hybrid i mean much better and then secondly i mean in the hybrid environment i mean is that i mean if you know some kind of dynamic programming language like php python ruby or rail i mean just a little bit under my sql data or javascript uh, dynamic uh, node.js framework i mean you can then i mean just make a login page so for example if i'm just i mean using i and how to say some kind of uh, some kind of buying so for example some kind of i mean watch collection website normally i mean for example i will just download the app from a uh, apple uh, apple store and then just install on it then of course i can just view the watch collection for example if i'm collecting but if, if i want to show someone on desktop it will be very hard basically if i'm using the window then it's very hard it cannot i mean easily sync the data then the best bet is that if i'm using a hybrid app and website i can just log in there and then just view all my stuff on my window laptop on my tablet on my iphone that is the future to be honest with you that is the future again i will say yes with programming language is good there's a, a little bit demand for it not much demand currently but there's so bazillion demand for html5 ninja javascript programmer javascript engineer php learn that good documentation free lecture even you can check out the free code camp they will give you free 100 hour online boot camp training i will include the link check out a free code camp much better option for you at the end of the day do whatever you want my personal bad do not learn to programming language
you will be locked into apple system if back in 2007 if you asked me should you learn object c then i would have basically said yeah there was no competition for apple now already we have built bazillion apps for iphone which really do not need now we need hybrid app which transfer to a screen resolution to its dimension very smoothly if i'm on a laptop i mean basically whatever the dimension of my laptop is it translates when i'm on the tablet when i am on my phone that is the future hybrid mobile app again i'm saying hybrid mobile app the people still cannot get i can see the future if you cannot see within two years this will be a normal standard there will be demand for a hybrid mobile app again i'm saying hybrid mobile app subscribe to my channel if you are really newbie you want to start out with html css i will include some link in the description box below please check it out i will say i i to be honest with you i answer your question with bottom of my heart even do research for you even provide you good free valuable education at the end of the day you should really go to our website go to free code camp it's a free bloody code camp online boot camp the people are ready to pay eleven thousand dollar but they are not even ready to complete a free 100 hour boot camp just i mean do eight hours a day of free boot camp within one month you will be ninja at html css javascript node j dynamic programming language agile development all that stuff if you have any question leave in the comment box below subscribe to my channel it's me jimmy Agit. bye bye